Discovering photography was one of the most joyful things to happen to me in my adult life. And I see it as a methodology, thinking about the visual image and some of the images that circulate in cultural memory. So it's time to kind of reinvestigate the cultural representation of war and then how it is experienced by people who live it, including, most importantly, citizens of the countries where the American military occupied and fought for some time. My kind of niche within American studies is war and public memory. So I'm thinking about not war as historically what happened necessarily, but how it is represented in American culture. I think that Fallujah has become kind of canonized in, in public memory, more so than the Iraq war. So it's time to kind of reinvestigate what Fallujah means for different communities. The initial impulse for me is just to visit the hometowns of the soldiers that were killed in Fallujah and the Marines that were killed in Fallujah and trying to think through what has been lost. And so I hope to go back to Iraq and create a visual kind of essay of Fallujah as it is now and the people and how they're living. Because I think that's essentially the point that I will want to make is that it's not only American families that suffer some type of loss in war. And that should be obvious. Often those perspectives are kind of eclipsed by larger narratives, and at least I think in American public.